this tutorial, I will show you how to do the mini mallard duck using a 22 pin circular knitting machine. I have the Addy. I do have a version of the mallard duck using a 46 pin, and this is a larger version. I call it my duck squish. I'll link below. But in this tutorial, the materials that you'll need is a 22 pin machine, yarn in the colors green, white, brown, and a small amount of yarn in yellow for the mouth, 16 millimeter eyes, or the size desired, polyfill, and a darning needle. What you'll do first is cast on with your green yarn and knit eight rows. Switch colors to white yarn and knit three rows. Switch colors to brown yarn and knit 20 rows. Then switch to white and do three rows and then back to green for eight rows. Cast off. Once you take it off the machine, turn it inside out and tighten all the strands, all the color changes just by making a secure knot. See if you don't tighten it, it has this huge gap there. So I like to tighten it here, make sure that there's no gap, make it snug. I also cut the ends off. You don't have to, but that's just what I like to do. Just tighten all your ends and you should have a few of them. Four total changes of color. Started with green, went to white, went to brown, back to white, then to green. Now turn your work inside out again. We're going to cinch each end and draw one end into the other, kind of like a beanie. So find your yarn end on one side and thread it up through the hole like that. So then your work will turn into itself. The reason we do the color changes on the inside is because sometimes you can see through and if the white shows brown through it doesn't look as good as if it shows white through it. All right so just tighten the ends like a beanie you can see the inside is the same exact thing like that to that so you want to tighten that end just cinch up that hole on the inside see Okay, and then you'll simply tie the two ends together in a knot. Make it nice and snug. I like to tie it a few times, and then I will take my needle and draw the ends up into the middle. This is just for extra security here. I'll actually see if you look closely, you can see where the hole is. So I'll actually put the needle on the outside of the hole to secure it a little better so it doesn't go through the middle of the hole like that. And then when I'm on the inside, what I'll do is get your yarn all the way through, take out one of the yarn ends, like leave the other, and just double secure it to go through the other side of the hole. Take off your needle and tie those ends together into a knot before you cut your yarn. And that just gives the Item a little more security so you know the hole won't come undone. And then go ahead and cut it. That's the inside of your of your duck. That's the inside of your duck. And so now you turn it back inside out. And here you have the startings of what looks more like a duck now. Grab your eyes, your little yarn. For the mouth, take about two inches, maybe four inches of yarn. So I make the mouth with a double strand of yarn, usually. So I like to go from the white up one, up one of the greens, over, and I take three total stitches, so one, two, three, and I go through the middle of the next one. And I do that two times. I usually like to go in through the middle, actually, so to make it easier for tying, up through the middle, count over three, one, two, three stitches going through the middle of the next one. Make sure it looks even. And do it one more time to double up the mouth. And there's your mouth. Turn it inside out to tighten up. 
Okay. Let's see, I'm grab the eyes here. I'll put the eye right here. Let's see, go over one and up two. Like that. There you go. And then I gotta put the backing on it first. The way backing for you. So it doesn't fall off. Okay, hold on. I gotta go over one and up two. So I'm gonna be here. Okay, see if it looks okay. Looks good. Push it on. Push on. Next, grab your darning needle and a length of green yarn, and we will close up the bottom. You'll start off anywhere and grab every other stitch. So you, that means you're going to grab two loops, skip two loops, and grab two loops. Leave a length of yarn at the end because this is going to be your drawstring to close up the bottom of your duck. So you can see here I'm grabbing two loops, skipping two loops, grabbing two loops, all the way around. At the end you'll see that you'll actually have maybe one loop that you'll have to go through in order to make sure that you go up through the exact same hole that you started with. Add your polyfill or your stuffing. I'm just using standard polyfill here. And I'll link all my products down in the description box below. Tighten up your drawstring by just tying it in a knot. And I will take my darning needle after I've knotted it to go around a few times to ensure that there's no hole at the bottom of the duck. You could use brown yarn. That probably would be better. I just had an extra spare pit of green yarn. It doesn't show through anyways. So here I'm just going to go through a couple loops, ensuring that that hole at the bottom is really tightened up that you can't see it. You can go around as many times as you think you need and then I will put it back onto my darning needle and hide the yarn inside of my duck by just going through and then I will cut the ends of the yarn. And there you have your duck. Now, if you want to make the larger version of the duck squish, I will link that right now. And I have other toys and different amigurumi that I use my uh, circular knitting machine for. And thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. These are really popular at the markets I sold them at. People really thought they were adorable and bought up one or two at a time. Check out my blog and shop linked below where you can find more patterns, tutorials, and other things all related to crochet and circular knitting machines. Thanks again. Have a great day.